Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with J-Line, helping others achieve greatness in every part of life. Today we're talking about five things to understand about your interest rate. I like to think of this as five things that you need to understand about your real interest rate. You ready for this? Here we go. All right, number one is called the APR. Now you might see this all the time like APR financing, 0% APR. What that really means is your annual percentage rate. What an annual percentage rate does is it rolls in all the cost that it would cost of that loan. For instance, a preparing fee or maybe a, a yearly annual fee. That's all wrapped up in your APR. You need to understand that that really has nothing to do with your interest rate. It's just the cost of having the loan. Now, even though it might not seem important that it's not really your interest rate, you need to know what your APR is because sometimes there's monthly fees or yearly fees to have the loan. For example, payday loans are the worst. Now, not only do they have a high interest rate to pay back, but usually there's a high APR or a cost of having that loan. For example, your monthly payment might be $75, but that is the fee of having the loan. So you could pay $75 every single month and never even pay the interest or the principal of that loan. So watch out for loan fees and what it costs. All right, number two is interest rate. And I think we all understand interest rate, but we might not understand exactly how it works. I'm gonna use 10% as an example, just for easy math, but sometimes it could be six or even higher to 20 or 30% on a loan. What most people don't realize is not a flat interest that you just pay back. For instance, if you borrow $1,000 at 10%, what you have to be very aware is how often are they gonna charge that 10% and is it 10% of the balance and it could be every month that they're charging 10% of the balance. In this case, if it was 10% of the balance of $1,000, they would charge you an extra $100 each month to have that line of credit at $1,000. So if you have a minimum payment of like $105, then you're really just paying $100 in interest and $5 to lower down the balance. That brings us to number three, which is volume. Something that you have to understand about loans and interest rates is understanding volume. So if you ever look at your payments that you have to pay, it's gonna have a principal and an interest. A lot of times, many of our payments are paying interest rather than paying down the principal or paying down the balance. And what I mean by that is the interest rate doesn't matter as much as how much interest you're paying each cycle. So something you could do on your credit card statements or on an auto loan or a personal loan is to actually look at how much interest you're paying per month and that will help you understand what is the cost of having this line of credit each month. Again, with our example of $1,000 being borrowed and $100 as the payment at 10%, it could be that the payment is an interest only payment. So what that means is for having that $1,000 out, you're just paying $100 just to keep that $1,000 on the line of credit. And a lot of times you think that you're paying paying it down, but you're really just paying the interest and you still owe that $1,000. So that's why it's very important to understand volume. I'm pretty confident that if you have an auto loan and you look at your interest versus your principal on your car payment each month, you're probably paying more in interest than you are paying down the loan or paying down the principal. All right, that brings us to number four. Once you figure all this out, you'll be able to figure out how long it will take you to pay off that loan. The way that these work is pretty scary when you think about it. For example, if you have a $300 credit card and you pay the minimum payment on the $300, it would take you 30 years to pay it off. That seems crazy. That is crazy. And that's why we need to understand how much is it costing us to have that loan so that we can pay the interest, but also pay more of the principal so that we can pay actually that loan down instead of having it for a long period of time. Now this works for real estate too. Imagine if you had a home that you got for $500,000 and you're paying that off and you're paying your mortgage every single month. How many know that that's gonna take 30 years to pay off but you're actually gonna pay over a million dollars for that $500,000 home? How does that work? interest. And that's why it's very important to understand how interest works. Also, when it comes to real estate, some people even do what's called interest only loans, which means they're only going to pay the interest on the loan. So if you get a loan for $300,000 and do an interest only loan, you can pay that loan for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and you would still owe $300,000. Oh, that's a slap in the face. That kind of hurt. 
All right, and I know that kind of led into number five. Number five is know how much it's gonna cost you. So number one, know the APR, know the interest rate, understand what volume is on that interest rate, and then how long it's gonna take you to pay it off and how much it'll cost you to pay it off as well. Well, I know we could go on and on about talking about this, but that's just a simple overview of how it works, and I hope it helps. And if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The J-Line Network, so you can stay up to date on all things to keep your life great. See ya.